you're back tuning into SMU Campus Radio, your station, your music. Yep, it's the Eminem Show, and we're back for the new "You're Back into School, Life is Gonna Be Miserable" edition. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna start off talking about what we did over our winter break. So, Martin, what did you do? All right, let's see what I did during my winter break. My winter break was spent exercising and resting at the same time. Basically, I needed to lose weight for all that weight gain I had towards the last week with finals because it was so stressful. And what do you do when you're stressed? You eat, eat, and eat. That's a lot of weight and eat in one sentence. It doesn't matter. I gained some weight, so I had to lose it. And so far, it's been quite successful. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, so I went on... And OCSP, the OCSP is called was Project Singfu 3. Yes, I'm sorry if you guys are listening and I paused. That wasn't <laughs> supposed to happen. Okay, so we basically went to China to go see some kids and paint some classrooms. And that was fun. That was nice. <laughs> I'm sorry the enthusiasm isn't coming out. I'm just thinking that like, it was so cold. And yeah, I was freezing. You were freezing. Why? Why? It was. Was it snowing? What was the temperature like? Okay. Um. It wasn't really that cold. It was mostly the cold wind. So it went till negative ten at best. With the winds. With the winds. Without the wind. Without the wind, it would still be negative ten, but it wouldn't be as cold. So how many people were farting to create such wind? Ha ha ha! <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Toilet humor. So typical. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, we are the Eminem Show, and this is what we do best. <laughs> That's what Martin does best. Oh, well, friend. <laughs> what I love about winter break and cold stuff, even though it's not so cold in Singapore, is the ice cream. That, no, <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. Christmas twenty fifth. I know you don't really celebrate it, but Christmas! It's January 2014. I, I don't care. We recorded this one day after Christmas, 26th <laughs> of December, <laughs> Boxing Day. And it's... I don't care. I love Christmas so much because there's, you know, uh, ironically, more food to gain weight. What? More food. Pork, um, lamb, beef, salmon. You name it, man. It's all there, man. Turkey, chicken. Oh, weight gain. Oh, and all that exercise for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk about winter and Christmas. Here's a very interesting cover no. of the. <laughs> City doesn't want to hear any more Christmas songs, but yeah, why? But I'm still in the jingle spirit. I'm jingling my balls. I mean, <laughs> what? It's Jingle Bells by the Hababas, a local band. Enjoy. And I saw mommy. No. Santa Claus. How about how about uh uh drink my balls? No. Um, I'm dreaming of a white no, 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 Christmas. No 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 no. That's on your no. face. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, everyone, you've been tuning in to SMU Campus Radio, your station, your music. We are the Eminence Show, and the one who was singing just now is my unfortunate co-host, Martin. Ah, uh, I love you, City. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> Here's the thing about Christmas, you see, as much as I do love Christmas with all my heart, I find mm -hmm. that, that, you know, it's starting to get irritating with all these nonsensical covers of, um, you know, Christmas carols. The one that we heard earlier was definitely good, but mm -hmm. every single year, you go to shopping malls and you hear the worst covers of, like, Christmas carols ever. I wouldn't be able to relate because I don't go out during that period. Why? Why? Why yeah, put yourself I, I, out in such horrendous crowds? I always forget about that. That one thing about you, City. You yeah. and crowds are not related. At yeah, all. I know, right? <laughs> I hate crowds. Like I went out with my cousins on Christmas. The crowd. Ugh. All right. So now we're gonna move on to one of our usual things we do every single time we have a show. It's Just... time for 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 SMU Confessions. <laughs> <laughs> is that how we're gonna start? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be our jingle from now on. <laughs> You're in charge of that. All right. So during this December period, right, mm -hmm. one thing that came out in SMU confession and it was a recurring theme mm -hmm. was that of G 
GPA, Great Point Average. Yeah. And I think it got kind of sickening because everyone was complaining about their GPAs and saying that, you know, oh, I get a low GPA. I'm never going to make it in society. <laughs> or like, oh, it doesn't matter, man. You can have a low GPA and you can still get places, yo. <laughs> It's so sickening, you know? Like, you know, the last time we did such a thing was about some gender argument and I was doing your thing, the whiny thing just now. <laughs> now you're doing the whiny thing! Because it's so irritating! I mean, I don't care! You, know, you do well, you do well, you do bad, you do bad. Find your way in life, YOLO! <laughs> like, like, here's, 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 here's yeah, the thing. Yeah. Um, SMU conventions number 21425. Year 2 SIS student, GPA 3.52. Do I suck? Yes, you suck because you're so irritating. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for my co-host angst. <laughs> and how about this? How about this? Number yeah, yeah, 21422. Okay. Is having a GPA of 3.65 for first sem any good? A lot of people seem to be getting 3.8 and above. Oh, it's very bad. You're not gonna make it anywhere in life because you're scoring <laughs> lower than everyone else. You're probably gonna end up as a rubbish wait, cleaner. Wait, wait. You can just leave SMU now. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Did you add in the fact that this confessor's a freshie? Yeah, it's a freshie. Seriously, who are your friends? I... Once my friend, this is on SMU confession. Was you ask SMU? No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the freshie. I'm sorry. I'm just so irritated. Like you do well, do well, good for you. I don't care. No Chill. one cares. No Dude. one cares if you get all A plus. I don't care if you come lordy or come on someone also. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to the? I don't know. What was the trend the previous time? The, previous, the gender equality, yeah, was gender it? Yeah, gender equality. I mean, come on, bring bring back, like, nonsensical fart jokes or... or no, like... no, no. We had, we had like, two fart <laughs> confessions on our show before. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's completely nonsensical about people here just ranting on and on. What's your take on it? Okay, to be on? honest, I'm just, I think that most of the people confessing about the GPAs are freshies. I'm sorry, freshmen, but... You're kind of insecure. Because it was your first semester. Come on. You just came into the dam. I mean, the school. <laughs> you, they're insecure? You guess what? I don't know what for. I, I, I expected that, actually. <laughs> I wanted to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the whole thing on SMU Confessions this December. If yeah. you have missed out and been enjoying your holidays and SMU Confessions. Good for you. Yeah, good. I'm good so glad you. you did not see any of the SMU Confessions. It's not worth it. Bell curves and nonsense and... Good I bet health. the same thing's gonna happen for NUS and NTU confessions. I have no idea, man. I have no idea. Let me let me tell you what's the best confession on GPA. Mm -hmm. Uh some guy put I'm I'm trying to remember it. Um he said, you know uh Is it a very long one? It's not very long. <laughs> it's just talking about <laughs> <laughs> okay, what what so, something on the line of uh um uh, uh you know what bell curve really matters now jingle bell I've got to play Christmas out no, just no. <laughs> <laughs> what song are we playing all right so right now we're gonna have a very okay not very old a relatively old song, song right uh it's thrift shop but dun, of course it's dun, not dun, gonna. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm gonna pop some tags. <laughs> okay. So no, but it's gonna be very interesting because mm -hmm. this is actually done in a vintage grandpa style. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can search it up on YouTube. Scott Bradley loves ya. This mm -hmm. is Thrift Shop by Cover My this is from Macklemore, right? Cover by it, it was some it's a Macklemore cover. Okay. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hi everyone, you're back to SMU Campus Radio, your station, your music. Yep, and you're here with us, the m &S Show, on this Back to School special. Yeah, we'll be doing some definitions quiz, you know, back to school definitions quiz. Yep, just to refresh our brains, but here's the fun part, we have no idea what they're gonna ask, okay? <laughs> uh, we, we went to this random website, triviapark.com, and uh, they have different <laughs> quizzes in there, general knowledge, game, fairy tales, explorers, and we thought... Let's have a challenge since we <laughs> haven't had a challenge in a while. So Siti and I are both like looking at computers right now. Uh -huh. Alright, and we and it's about ten questions. 
So we are gonna try to see who's better at this. I better. Think, yeah, I think I can definitely win it because yeah. you know I'm smarter. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly okay. way smarter than Ziti. All right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I sound so interested in his response. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So we're looking at uh question number one. Mm-hmm. All right. Each year, southern France is buffeted by a strong wind called the Mistral. Mistral? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. It is a a cold wind from the north. B a hot wind from the south. C a dry wind from the east. And D a moist wind from the west. <laughs> There's even moist wind from the west, like a <laughs> fart or something. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, we are supposed to choose the answer right, that we think right, is correct. Right. Okay. Maestro. Each uh, year, southern what? France. Maestro. <laughs> I'm thinking it's a, mm. a, a, a cold wind from the north. I'm sticking with that. Actually, that's what I took also. Oh my god. You did? We're both correct. Oh, oh no. no. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Question two. Uh, Alright, so I'm looking at question two. Alright, you can try to say the zone right. in city. Exiduous. What does exiduous are you mean? Tr- are you trying to pronounce no exiduous or exiduous? Exiduous, exiguous. I guess ambiguous. Oh yeah, I'm so no exiguous. I have no idea. The, the options are A buttersome, inconvenient, <laughs> B cruel, spiteful, <laughs> C small, scanty, or D unbelie- unbelievable unbelievable. And it's an absurd. Absurd. Whatever. I think I think this is exiguous. It sounds okay. it sounds kind of like like mm-hmm. angry, like I don't mm. know. I'm gonna go for like burdensome inconvenience. Okay, I'm gonna go for D. Oh no, it's oh. small and scanty. <laughs> We're now we know wrong. exiguous means small and scanty, which means City and I are both tight. wrong. Yeah, we're tight right <laughs> we're now. We're tight at the moment. Okay. Next. Question number, three. Number three. Lembent. L A M B N T. Oh god. What is the meaning of the adjective lambent? Lambent? Yep. It's either beautifully warm, uh huh. Radiantly beautiful, softly radiant, or warmly, warmly soft. soft. Lambent. Uh, lamb sounds like got lamb, so got <laughs> light. Got light. <laughs> so I'm going for radiantly beautiful. Okay, I'm kind of going towards the beautifully warm. Alright, let's see. Okay. Oh, softly, softly radiant. radiant. I was close. Like, yeah. I said light. <laughs> no, actually, right. Initially, I was thinking I want to pick softly too late, radiant. Question but four. Oh, well, we're still tied. Damn question it. four. All right. Which of the following words means reddish yellow? Oh, what? Fulvous, glabrous. Glab- it's glabrous. Gl- whatever. Glaucus. What? And palus. Okay. Reddish um, yellow. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, why? Um, Yolo gal- gla- glabrous. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, God. Come on, the answer. City hasn't done it. City, hurry up, pick. Okay. <laughs> We're both wrong again. Oh, the score is what still is tight. This? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay, question five. Wait, this means that both of us only has gotten one, one. out of five. So out of four. Out of four, out of four. All right. What is this? <laughs> what is the meaning of the noun grammari? Grammari. <laughs> is it A, ancestry, B, correctness in speech or writing, C, <laughs> magic, or D, wickedness? <laughs> God, it sounds like B because yeah, of like the grammar, grammar. but yeah. it sounds kind of magical. So I'm gonna go for ancestry. <laughs> what? Okay. That's wrong. We both got it wrong. What? It's actually magic. <laughs> what? No. Alright, okay, we're gonna okay. we're gonna take we're a gonna short, take break, a short right break, break right now. Right now. <laughs> we're gonna chill our minds a little bit from this mon- mind numbing. I don't want to go back to school! <laughs> no! Okay, what's the song we're having next? <laughs> Alright, coming right now, uh, we have a mashup from uh, <laughs> Kesha, Kesha's Timber and One Republic's Counting Star. This is by Sam Sui. Hope you enjoy. You're tuning in SMU Campus Radio. Your, your station, station, your music. music. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and you're back with live the definitions quiz between Martin and City on SMU Campus Radio. Your and station, the current, your music. This we're moving on to the sixth question. The sixth question out of ten questions, and the, currently the score is tied at one one, meaning both City and I are <laughs> quite stupid today. <laughs> oh this my. is not a good sign as we head back into school. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. The question is, what is the meaning of the adjective 
Otios. Otiose. Otiose. I, I don't know. O T I O S E. Is yeah. it A disgusting? B having large ears. <laughs> C serving no purpose. Or D, D unmarried. unmarried. I'm gonna go with serving no purpose because I'm it gonna go stupid. for C too. No. All right, we both click C. Okay, one, one, two, two three. three. Oh my, oh my god! god okay! I feel smarter already! Yes. It actually means serving no purpose. <laughs> question seven! Okay, question seven. Vitiate. Vitiate. What, what is the meaning of the word vitiate? Bite vitiate. or gnaw, corrupt or impair, lace or sprawl, revive or reawaken. Okay, okay um. I'm, I'm, Okay, I'm, um, I'm gonna go for revive or hey, why? Reawaken. Why? Why are we choosing the because same answers? Because it sounds vitty. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, so let's try okay. one, two, three. Oh no, we're both wrong. It oh, means God. to corrupt or impair. <laughs> <laughs> we suck at this. We got two out of seven. What is a moloch? Question eight. Moloch. What is, is it, a moloch? Is it an Australian yeah. animal, a Babylonian bucket <laughs> wheel, a Canadian confection, or a Danish detective? What? Okay, I'm gonna go. F- I'm gonna pop some tags. No, I'm not. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, a moloch kind of sounds like something you have on your face. I I don't know. I I I'm looking at D. Okay. Wait, it, do you realize that the options coincide of like the A B C D? An Australian animal. A a Babylonian bucket wheel. B. Okay, I, I, and I, so I'm just gonna like, ignore oh, you for that. I'm gonna up. go with a Babylonian bucket wheel. I'm gonna One, go for D. Two, three. three. Oh my god, it's, it's an, an Australian, Australian animal. animal. Alright, we're going to look at what a Moloch is and we'll probably okay, post later. it up on our Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we need to like open up a new tab for this. Alright, so number nine. Who made the shoes of these traditional craftsmen? Which one was the shoemaker? A, the Brodera. B, the Cord Wainer. C, the Farrier. Or D, the Lauriner. What? What is this quiz? The Brodera sounds like a brother. The Court Wainer sounds like someone who does courts. <laughs> the Ferrier sounds like somebody who creates Ferris wheels. The Lorena sounds like a loner. Okay, I'm going to go for C. I'm going for D because it sounds like a loner. Shoemakers are lonely. <laughs> it's B, the Court Wainer. What is The going... Court Wainer makes shoes. We're tired, City. Right we're we're now, still tired. This is going to be the 10th question. 10th. <laughs> yep. Which of these words mean meekness or gentleness? Constitute, destitute. It's not habit- destitute, it's desuitude. <laughs> habitude. habitude. Mensuitude. Right. What is wrong All with right, this? Alright, Siti, you're going to pick your choice, and I'm going to pick my choice, and we're going to see what it goes Okay, one, one two, two, three. three. What? I got it correct! I got it correct! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Meekness or gentleness means mansitude. And the score at the end of turn <laughs> question stands at Martin. Three, City, two. <laughs> Nothing we proud about because we both Fail. did so badly. <laughs> okay, I... Oh, what is I this? I beat City by a point. I beat City by a point. <laughs> Congratulations, and we both failed. <laughs> yep. So that means for the second time I in a row... I found it! You found what? The mol- Moloch? What? What's a Moloch? The 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 word just yeah, now, yeah, the Australian okay, animal. An Australian animal, right? Yeah. So what, what is it, actually? It's a lizard. It's a lizard. That's a lizard. It's a lizard. All right, we're going to post this up on our Facebook so you can take a look. <laughs> a Moloch is a lizard. What? Now you've learned something new for today. I cannot remember any of the words that came to mind except... Except for Moloch. Moloch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what song do we have up next? All right, right now we're going to slow things down because uh, everything is kind of a little blurry in my head. Blurry. Uh, yeah. So we're going to listen about a creep. A creep? Yeah. A, a creep. creep? Yep. Daniela Andrade. Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> These names are all killing me. Anyway, this girl, all right, uh, is doing a cover of Creep by Radiohead. Actually, one of my favorite songs. I'm not sure if you like it. All right. All right. So, I'm a creep. Hello, everyone. You're tuning in to SMU Campus Radio, your station, your music. Your, your... music, music, music. You're together with us, the MNS show. MNS show, show, show. That's Martin, and I'm City. City, City. Okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, yes, you all know the um, it's. 2014 by the time you're hearing this, but it's actually 2013 on our end. On our end. On our end. This is on 26 December, <laughs> Boxing Day. You want to be boxed? Pop, 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 
I didn't know that's how it sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> so, City, this year comes to an end. Mm? Mm-hmm. You got to make New Year resolutions, right? I don't really make New Year resolutions. Why don't you make New Year, New Year resolutions? I don't know. Why should I? Because you always fail at keeping them, I'm supposing. And you're no, scared. No, I've, I've never tried. You're petrified of the idea of you not being able to uphold your promises to yourself. Self, self. I'm surprised that you used the word petrified. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> my new year's resolution yeah let's make a new year okay, resolution sure um to continue this radio show oh oh that's very simple eh? because, yeah i know because i will also make sure this radio show continues <laughs> i will be able to keep this new that's year resolution a, a new year res- this, like, say, um, this new year resolution i'm gonna promise that throughout this whole year I'll be breeding I knew that was coming I was thinking that in my head <laughs> don't make something more useful man City make a good new year resolution I will be less of a grammar Nazi nah no, no, I won't be able to do that is that true? yeah I won't be able to <laughs> It's like telling me to not be sarcastic for one whole day. You should try that. You should try that. Every make make every um I don't Thursday. No, no, no. Every Thursday no, a, no, no, a no. non sarcastic day. No, I can't. Okay, wait, actually I can because I don't have to see anyone on Thursdays. Cause I don't have any classes then. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> yep, okay, sure. No. Why not? <sighs> Okay. There is sarcasm on Thursdays when I don't have to come to school. Yeah, that sounds good. You're lousy. I think I know, on, right? on, on my end, mm-hmm. I'm going to make sure I use a planner. I bought, I got myself a planner from yes, Starbucks. Yes. Yeah. Starbucks, I right? remember. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm-hmm. And so I'm going to make sure I put my time and all my schedules and mm-hmm. everything into this planner mm-hmm. so that I will be very well adept and I will mm-hmm. study hard mm-hmm. and do better in school. Yeah, this will be funny. And I'm going to lose more weight. <laughs> Every year I okay, tell myself so that. So that's the New Year's re- re- resolution for the m show. Martin's going to try to lose weight and use his planner and I'm not going to be sarcastic on Thursdays when I'm not coming to school. Yeah, so, I'm gonna win. No one's no one's gonna judge that, man. No one's gonna be able to judge that. Your cat, your cat will come up to you and come up to Just me. Just go meow meow. And go yeah, meow. Like meow. City sarcastic today. No, she wasn't. <laughs> you know, you know, if your cat was sarcastic, <laughs> you know what it will be. What? Sarcastic. <laughs> That almost sounded like Beavers and Butthead's laugh. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna listen to. <laughs> Pentatonix doing a cover from Kelvin Harris. Hel- Kelvin Harris. Well, Harris. I think of Harris, I just think of Ke- Jack and Finn Harris. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> Kelvin Harris featuring Ellie Golding. This is I Need Your Love by Pentatonix. What? Okay, uh, hi everyone, you're tuning into SMU Campus Radio, your station, your music. You're together with us, the MS Show. Yep, it's Martin and Chitty. City. <laughs> City, S I T I. Uh, it's so fun. Yeah. Well, at this point of time, I just want to remind everyone who is listening in that the MS Show has a dedication system. Some some of you might not know about it. Some of you might, but you know our dedications are open to anyone and everyone. Just go to facebook.com slash m n s show. That's m a n d s s h o w. Yeah. And then you can send us any requests and preferably a cover or song or something like this, and we will definitely play and read out your request. Yeah, uh, you can even send to us some messages or challenges like what we did just now. The the terrible definitions quiz. Yep. Wow. For- for now, let me just read one dedication, right? We can we will play the song later, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, this is from uh, somebody called Vinesh Manoharan, who's actually my friend, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, he he's says, actually uh, your friend, actually. Yeah, There's a lot of actually, 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 <laughs> actually. All right. Well, <laughs> says, Go on. He says, Martin, this is my gift to the society of imbeciles in which I live. Thanks, bro. Wow. Inspirational. <laughs> he wanted us to play a song by this band called Porcupine Tree, but we are not allowed to play it because it's original music. Mm-hmm. So instead, we will have a song that we'll play later for him. Um, he, he loves the song Pure Shores by the All Saints. It's a very old song. We'll play mm-hmm. a cover it by Becca and Helen. Mm-hmm. But for now, let's take a look at the YouTuber of the week. <laughs> 
You do all these like openings to our segments. You're the one in charge of them, so you have to remember what you did. I I, I should try to do. This sounds like like the like the the uh the, the, uh... the SMU confessions thing. You should try something new. Okay, like, sure. Let me try like like. YouTuber of the week, week, week. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, YouTuber of the week. Who is our YouTuber of the week? Well, and the YouTuber of the week is actually this very interesting. I would like to call them like a top ten something. Okay. Because it's WatchMojo dot com. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, they're on YouTuber. Just search WatchMojo. W T A. W A T C H M O J O, right? <laughs> and they have top ten lists, very interesting top ten lists. Uh, every single time round, ranging from so many things, uh, of like celebrity, um, careers, movies, geeky stuff, even if you're yeah, yeah, a they huge even geek. have um some superheroes or villains origins. Yep. Yeah, I would know because I kind of watched them. Oops. Yep. So just looking at it, you know, there's like top 10 greatest Marvel supervillains. There's top, top 10 most worst Marvel villains. Yep, and you have, it ranges so much things to like awesome stuff like top 10 girl on girl movie kisses. What? <laughs> yeah, okay, no, let's be no, Top 10 characters to super speed. Oh, Flash. Yep, you also have like top 10 Game Boy games. Yes. Right and uh, let, oh, let's... top ten scary video games. Yep. Yay! And uh, top ten nerd icons. Top ten hil- hilarious Will Ferrell moments. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's so much uh pop stuff going in here and so much geek stuff going on. Mm-hmm. I think it will make you happy. You know, if you're just bored in the day and you just want to see stuff, just go in there and and and, and open your mind. Yeah, because you will find lots of stuff that you know find out before like. Top 10 workout songs. Top 10 workout songs? Yeah, so you can exercise and find the top 10. Woo! <laughs> and the best thing is they mm-hmm. upload one video, I think, close to almost every day. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's quite mad, right? It's wow. once a day. So, you know, you just need a break for 10 minutes or so. Just go on to watchmojo.com and listen and watch them. And then look out yeah. for, like, another top 10 most paused movie moments. Mm. Open bracket, mature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Not something that I would do. Just saying. That makes you boring and. No, I would go for the superhero origins. (laughs) All right. Yep. So right now we're gonna take a break and we're gonna play the song that I promised my friend Vinesh Manoharan. All right. This is Becca and Helen with Pure Shaw. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and you're back with us, the MNS Show on SMU Cambridge Radio, your station, your music. He doesn't usually talk like that, by the way. Yes, <laughs> I do talk like that all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's see how long you can keep this up. I sound like I have shit stuck in my stomach. I should totally record this. I mean, like, video record. He looks... He looks insane. <laughs> we'll talk about video <laughs> recording, ladies and gentlemen. Expect a lot from us here at the m and show this semester. We're gonna go a little bit more extreme. We're gonna uh, set conventions yeah. and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> we're gonna post up some videos of us doing our recording process and see <laughs> yeah. what it's like to be on SMU Campus Radio. And if you're interested in joining SMU Campus Radio, do join and you can say hi to us and we can help you along if you think we're good. <laughs> yeah, and you can see Martin. We are good. <laughs> no, you can see Martin. And you can see City. No, I can chill. see Martin. City the chill boost. Yeah, Martin the good looking guy. With no longer have long no hair. No longer no longer having long hair. Okay, our quote of the day, please. Alright, it's time we always end our show with a quote of the day. Mm-hmm. And so it's time for quote of the day. And we're gonna do this like how we usually do. And yeah. I hope you still remember Yeah, City. yeah, I remember your, All right, you, you your sound effects, ready? right? Alright. Okay, All right. wait. Where's the, where is it? Yeah, yeah okay. it's here. Okay. Three, one, in, in light of the new year, the quote is relevant to that. Yeah, okay. new year resolutions, right? Mm-hmm. This is what we feel about it. All right, mm-hmm. go. Don't take the bull by the horns. Take him by the tail. <laughs> then <laughs> let go when you want to. <laughs> it's a quote by Josh 
Billings. Billings? No idea who he is. No but idea. Don't take the bull by the horn, take him by the tail, then you can let go when you want to. Yeah. Do it all then by your, <laughs> all your New Year's resolution. And here's the MS show wishing you uh, a happy, happy new, new year. year. And Merry Christmas. I don't care. No, no more Merry Jingle Christmas. Bells, Welcome Jingle back to bells. school, people. Happy New Year. <laughs> And you've been tuning in to SMU Campus Radio, your station, your, your music. music.